I'm Annabelle Cooper. Welcome to the World Right Newsreel. We focus this week on two critical news issues. From autumn 2008, a new law, the Safeguarding Vulnerable Groups Act, will come into force in the UK. This means it will be a crime for a father to help out with his son's football team who has not first been police checked. World Rights Assistant Director and longtime volunteer Viv Regan is worried about the impact of this new law. Over to Viv. I have been working in the voluntary sector for 15 years and I am deeply concerned about a new law that will mean from autumn this year all volunteers who work with young people will have to be police checked, known as a CRB check. This means that mums who volunteer at their kids' local disco will have to be CRB checked. Dads who help out at their kids' Saturday football game will be checked. In fact, about 9 million people will have to be vetted, police checked. I mean, you have to question what is happening when ordinary activities such as school discos and sports events require a higher level of security clearance than the selling of explosives or firearms. It's an insult that we are seen as suspicious for wanting to assist youngsters, even our kids' friends, and it's putting people off volunteering. Vetting sucks the life out of what we do best, getting people together in our local area to do something great on the spur of the moment. This will be a thing of the past as we have to be checked before we do anything. And this act has consequences. It makes us behave differently. We start taking less risks. We begin to feel more awkward talking to kids on the street corner, coming to the aid of children when they're upset. Even picking up our kids' friends from school becomes something we need to be cleared for by the police. Being suspicious of everybody until the authorities tell us otherwise will not help us or protect young people, as instead of young people making judgments and decisions for themselves about strangers, an important part of growing up, they will instead, like the rest of us, depend on the bureaucratic process of CRB checks. This act is mad, bad and dangerous, and I want to urge you to at least think about this act. Do we really want to go along with this? What do you think? World Right is helping to organise a special meeting to discuss the implications of this law, which will impact on us all, especially in the world of volunteering. Come along to the meeting on Thursday the 26th of July at 7pm at the Spitz in London to share ideas on how we should respond to this new legislation and its implications. Give us a ring on 0208 985 5435 or check out our website for more details, www.worldright.org.uk to book a place at this important event. Next up, news has just come in that World Right volunteers have completed their latest film in the Pricky and the Missionary Position series. Carry On Up the NGO will be out on DVD soon, but a special short version entitled NGOs Unwrapped has been released on the current TV website today. Watch the film at www.current.tv and help get this stormer of a short on our TV screens. With a single click on the current TV website, you can give the film a green light for broadcast. The more green lights, the greater its chances. Here's a trailer for the film. International NGOs, non-governmental organisations, charities and aid agencies are everywhere in Africa. We assume they are helping our peers in developing countries to have a better life. So we're not talking about allowing poor people to have you know, commercial access to, to what we consider to be luxuries. There's no point in campaigning for people to be rich. It's not that you want to, people to be stagnant, but you, what is wrong with that? What is wrong with their life here? Why don't we get people to appreciate the rural life and the farming? It builds upon their culture. It seems to me slightly odd that anybody would think that a whole nation or a whole continent can develop simply by improving the basic levels. International organizations are not really interested in industries where people will get employment to release, uh, to, to, to lessen the poverty level. No, they are not really interested in that. They are interested in their own programs that they think will benefit the people. And that's where they are always mistaken. Who are these people who come here and so promise many, all so these things? So many NGOs. NGOs be back. Recently, there was an NGO who came from US who came to them, asked them to tell them the things that they need. They asked them, they even asked her to cry. What? To cry. 
there has been uh, many NGOs uh, which come here to do activities on AIDS, such as the HIV AIDS education, uh, family, you know, planning, family planning, family planning, teenage uh, pregnancy, child, uh, trafficking. Uh, child trafficking, and what have you. What we really want is that they should put those things aside and begin to provide accommodation and better facilities that can enhance our lives and jobs. I actually think it, 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 it is, it's a sad reflection of, for, for mankind, really, that when they have rockets going to the moon, <laughs> they have space shuttles. At, at the other hand, they are busy preparing this for people to fetch water. <laughs> Well, that should certainly stir up some debate, and the more the better. Well, that's it for this week. Make sure you keep tuning in, logging on, and having your say. I'm Annabelle Cooper, and you've been watching the World Right Newsreel.